Guys, are you guys struggling to apply into the Amazon Influencer Program? Struggling with the two different approvals, the blue locks, all of the beginning information about the Amazon Influencer Program? Well, you are in luck because this video is going to be about the entire applying process, what you need to know, where your blue lock lives, and just some of those basic beginner steps when applying for the Amazon Influencer Program. Now, this is another highly requested video that I get asked a lot in the comments. So I think that creating this video, going in depth, showing you guys my screen, and just showing you the full process and talking about it is really gonna benefit you guys. So if you're somebody that's looking to apply or brand new into this program, this video is gonna be a must watch for you. So without wasting any more time, let me grab my computer, show you my screen, and let's talk. Okay, the first step in this process is heading over to the Amazon Influencer sign up page. I will provide a link in the description of this video so that you can easily access this page. But simply just doing a Google search for the Amazon Influencer program will bring you right here. Now when you head over to this page, this is going to show you what you get as an Amazon Influencer. You're going to get um, a storefront, you're going to get to create content, and you're going to get to earn some money. The part that you're gonna to wanna to click is up here at the top, the blue sign up button. When you click on this blue sign up button, you are gonna to have to provide a social media account for Amazon to check out and approve or deny you into this program. The interesting part about all of this is that this process or this step in the process is done by like a robot. Let's just call it that. Okay, so it's like an automated process. There's not an actual Amazon worker checking out your social media account and, and then approving or denying you. This is gonna happen instantly. You're gonna get an either automatic approval or an automatic denial. If you are denied into this program, you're gonna get some sort of message saying, you know, thank you for applying into the program, but you're not meeting our standards at this moment. And if you're approved, you're gonna get a congratulations email and you're gonna be able to get straight into the program, straight to work, creating a storefront, creating content, creating whatever you would like as an Amazon influencer. Now the little catch 22 on this whole thing is there's no specific amount of followers that you need. There's no specific social media account that you have to use. You can use an Instagram, you can use a Facebook, you can use a YouTube, or you could use a TikTok. Between those four social media sites, um, I hear that the TikTok is the easiest one to get in with. That being said, I have tried it, I have experimented, and the lowest amount of followers I was able to get in with was 200. I had 200 TikTok followers, and this robot approved me into the program. I'll elaborate a little bit more on this as we get into next steps, but using a TikTok account is the best way and easiest way to get approved pretty quickly. Now, you do wanna have engagement, you do wanna grow it as much as you can, but I have seen this step, a lot of people can get in pretty quickly because it's just an automated process. As long as you meet whatever guidelines this robot or automated system is checking, then you can get in. So a lot of people get here and they think they're in the program, but you gotta hang on because there's more steps to this, there's more steps to earning a commission, but if you do get in here, that is one step closer and you are allowed to build a storefront, you are allowed to create content, you're just not gonna get paid a commission. So getting through here is the first step, and so once you sign up and you get approved, let's move on to the next step. The next step in the process is building up your storefront. So this is what you're going to get taken to. I'm a little bit more into this program, so I have already customized my banner. Um, I, I put a profile photo. I wrote a description. I have my linked social media accounts. So you're going to be able to do all of this if you get approved in that first step. Now, getting into that first step, you're gonna see and you're gonna learn a lot about all the different things that you can do. You can create idea lists, which is essentially these lists here that like I called this one 2023 Studio Setup, and here are all the items that I use in my studio setup. Now, if somebody were to head over to your list, make a purchase, then you will receive a commission off of these lists. But this is where you would have to promote your list, you would have to send out your links, and you can make a commission this way. Yes, as an Amazon influencer, 
as passing that first approval, you can do all of this. You can create lists, you can create videos, right? You can create photos. I don't think I have any, oh, I do have photos. You can make these photos and you can link products here and you can drive people, essentially you can drive people to this storefront to make commissions and to make sales. The part that we all talk about and the part that you're probably interested in is making videos that show up on product pages on Amazon and earn you a commission. The reason that these are such a big hit is because you have you don't have to do any marketing for these videos. Amazon does it all for you. So moving on to that, let me show you that approval process and where you need to go to get there. So if you're on your storefront here, you're gonna simply go over to manage content and video. When you do that, you're gonna be taken to a page that looks pretty similar to mine, except you are gonna have a blue lock up here at the top somewhere up top of this page. Now what that blue lock means and says is that you have to submit three videos for Amazon to approve in order for you to get commissions or in order for you to earn on-site commission. So if you're brand new into this program, you're gonna head over to this page and click upload video. When you click upload video here, you get to select the three videos that you wanna upload. So what you're gonna to have to do is go and create three videos as best as you can, right? Make these videos as perfect as you can. Include your face in them. Include a really good product. Show good video. Have great quality. Have great audio. Put everything you can into those three videos because an actual Amazon worker is gonna be checking those videos and approving you into this next step. So once you have your three videos ready, you're gonna click on upload video. That is where you're gonna upload your three videos and title it, tag the product, and submit them. Once you submit them, this process takes a little bit longer. This process takes longer because like I said, an actual worker will be checking your videos. It's not an automatic approval or denial. It's like a week to a couple months process, depending on how busy Amazon is, depending on how many people are applying at that given time, it all just depends. So once you do your three videos, you must stop. Do not do anything else. Do not make more videos, do not upload anything. The only thing that you can do is simply create videos in the background if you are super confident and you think you're gonna be approved into the program, go ahead and create videos, but don't upload them. Don't do anything with them, just hold on to them until you're in the program. This is where a lot of people mess up because if you upload more than three videos and you are denied, you're gonna to have to delete all of them, okay? So be very careful on this step and only upload three videos and wait and be patient until you're, you hear back from Amazon. So. When you wait, well, when you upload your three videos, this little bar next to your blue lock is gonna fill up because it's saying that you submitted three out of the three videos for Amazon to approve. Now, when you are accepted into the program, you will get a pop-up on your screen that says congratulations. When that comes in, you then know that you are in the Amazon Influencer Program, you are approved for on-site commissions, and you can begin publishing as many videos as you would like. Until you get to that point, I would hang on a second and make sure you're approved before you upload anything else. Now, let me give you another little catch-22 about this whole program and what I'm hearing. Now, you know how in step one, how it was a robot automatically allowing you or approving or denying you into the program, right? So like I said, I had an account that had only 200 followers on TikTok and it got approved, okay? Now that account, there was hardly any engagement. There was really not much going on on that account, and, but it did get approved. So when that account got approved, I moved on to the next step and I tried to submit three videos for approval. Well, shockingly, my three videos were denied on that first attempt. You do have three attempts to submit your videos. That's why this part of the process is kind of tricky because you only have three attempts. If you mess up those three attempts and you're not allowed in the program, you're gonna have to start over from step one. Step one, you can submit your social media accounts as many times as you would like. You can keep 
applying. You can up, you can, you know, add your social media, try it as many times as you want. If you grow to 50 more subscribers or 50 more followers on social media, you can apply again. If you grow to a hundred more, you know, you can keep applying. You can apply as many times as you want in that first step. But in this second approval process with the blue lock, you're only given three total attempts to upload three videos. So like I was saying, I got through step one. I got approved with a 200 follower TikTok with pretty much zero engagement. I moved on to the upload phase of the program and I submitted three videos. I submitted three videos that to me were just like all the videos that I've been submitting on my own Amazon influencer program, right? I submitted these videos and I was denied. So what I think and a lot of people think is that on this step, when they look at your three videos, they're also looking at your social media account again. Even though you were approved with it, now they're considering your social media with your three videos to decide if you can get on-site commission. This is super interesting because it's like, you feel like you're already in, you feel like your social media account was good enough to get you approved, but now here you are trying to submit three videos to get on-site commission and you're not getting approved. Well, it might not just be because your videos are not up to par, but it might be because your social media account isn't as influencer as they wanted. So that's a big thing that you guys should really take into account because even though you pass that first step, these three video approvals might come really hard for you. A lot of people will compare their videos to mine and they think that you know their video is good enough and that they should be approved. But there are so many factors that Amazon is not telling us that they use to decide whether you can be in this program and get commission or you cannot. So take that, you know, take that information, use it to your advantage. What I would suggest is that you make sure your social media account is good enough, that it's active, there's engagement. Even though it can get you approved into the program, make sure that account is active. That way, when you submit your three videos, everything looks good and you can be approved on your first attempt. Now, once your blue lock is removed, once you're past both of those approvals, and once you're rocking and rolling in the Amazon Influencer program, the last step of all of this is to check your earnings. Now, this is a huge thing and a huge problem that some people encounter. If you click over here, see on, um, see on Associates Central, this is where you're gonna go to see your earnings. Now, once you click on that, you will be taken to this page. This page has a ton of different analytics that you can choose from to see your earnings. Now, your earnings are gonna be reflected from the previous day. So a lot of these things are kind of behind a few days, so just be patient with your earnings. But the one thing that I wanna really highlight is over here at the top. If you check out the top of your web page where it says store, you are gonna have this drop down menu with different store IDs. Make sure you're on the on Amazon with your name, store ID, and hit apply. This is gonna show you your commissions for your on-site commission as an Amazon influencer. If you're on a different store ID, you might just see $0 every single day. But once you change it to this on Amazon, you will see the earnings that you're gonna make from your videos. So make sure you do that and you will be in great shape and you will be able to see all of your earnings. So guys, I hope this video was informative. I hope this video can help you and guide you on your path to the Amazon Influencer Program. I know it can be super tricky and there's a ton of different web pages that you have to navigate and a ton of different approvals actually to get into this program. But with this video, I really hope I could break it down for you and show you guys a little bit easier how to do it, how to get in, and how to know if you are receiving commissions or not. So this video is really gonna help answer a ton of questions that I get asked in my comment section. And I think this is gonna be a really good video that can benefit you guys in this program. Now, if you're interested or you need help with your three videos, make sure you check out this video above because this video shows the three videos that I use to get into the program and can really help you when you're creating. So thank you guys. I hope you like this video and I hope and wish you guys nothing but the best in the Amazon Influencer Program. Bye.